Chip Kelly's taking his team to four consecutive BCS Bowls, and he gets his second consecutive BCS Gatorade dump, but will it be his final one as the head coach of the Oregon Ducks after the 35-17 victory against Kansas State? Lou Holtz and Mark May alongside, and before the game, Lou said that Kansas State needed to get 25 first downs, force five Oregon punts. They came very close to doing that with 20 first downs, and only forced a couple of punts. But they were on track for everything to go their way until the momentum swung right at the end of the first half, Mark. And I thought that was huge for Oregon at that point. Kansas State goes down, misses a field goal. Oregon gets the ball, marches right down the field, five plays, 77 yards in 46 seconds. The score, a touchdown. They took over the game at that point. And not only at that point, in the third quarter, they came out and won the third quarter and outscored Kansas State 10 to nothing. So the momentum switched at this point of the game. And at that point, Kansas State just couldn't keep up with the Oregon Ducks momentum. Two years ago, I was right here in this same stadium, and I watched Auburn beat Oregon. Watching Oregon today, this is a much better football team. This is an outstanding football team. I think they're better defensively now than they were two years ago. I think they're every bit as explosive. I think their quarterback is absolutely outstanding. When you look at their explosiveness, the kickoff return, all the things they can do, I want to tell you, they can beat anybody in the country. It's a shame that the field goal went through by Stanford. Well, that begs the question then, is this Duck team one of the two best teams in the country? I guess there's, that, there's two parts to that question. One, do you think Oregon should be playing in the championship game? And two, in the subjective nature, regardless of who might be most deserving, is Oregon one of the two best teams in the country? I, I think they are. I think that they will end up number two in the country. I really believe that. They're, they're an outstanding team. Defensively, they're outstanding. And let's remember this. Why? One, they did not win their conference championship. Number two, they lost late in the season. Number three, you look at Alabama's resume, Notre Dame's resume. Both of them belong in there. You made justification. After watching Oregon today, all I'm saying is they played for the championship two years ago. This is a better football team today than it was two years ago. The best two teams, in my opinion, for the eyeball test and watching these teams all year, Alabama and Oregon. And I'm not just saying that to say that to upset Notre Dame fans. I'm just but, saying we'll find no. out on Monday night about, about, about Notre Dame. But I think when you look at but, these two teams, my opinion is they are the best two okay. teams in the nation. How great it will be two years from now there when the winners will play. That is what will be great. I hope I live to see it. I hope you do, too. <laughs> You'll see it on ESPN.